Good day, fellow modelers. Mr. Handy back with another cold uh, handy review for you. Um, off on some sick days, so I thought I would uh, fill my time with a little bit of stuff and get some of these new things that I just picked up uh, done. So uh, we're going to look at another kit from Vespid. Uh, this is their Maz, uh Panzer Kauf Wagon. Five, six, seven, eight, Moz V2. Um, of course, the Joe running joke with the Moz is it's the mouse. Um, so basically a mobile uh, pillbox uh, that couldn't really do much. Um, as much as it looks very cool and is very big and very powerful, um, it would have been hard to probably get across any of the bridges anywhere. Uh, just because of its mass. So, anyways, uh, again, <coughs> this is a Vespid kit, 172nd scale. Um, before these, I'd never heard of them. So, and now uh, they're probably one of my favorite armor uh, manufacturers. So, as you can see, you get uh, uh, two versions on this side: uh, 44 and 45 at the test center in Coomersdorf. There's a little. Uh, Legend that apparently the uh, the tanks at Kummersdorf apparently uh, were active and took part in the uh, the fall of Berlin, but uh, um, who knows, right? Uh, as far as I understand, none of the variants actually uh, were combat ready. Uh, I know that they did have a turret and they did have a, uh, the chassis that actually moved and everything. But anyway, Sarah, there's your side, and of course. All the nice stuff on the inside to uh, show you or show you what's on the inside and in the kit. Again, another interesting bonus from uh, a Vespid is you get the two barrels. One for your, I believe this was a 200 millimeter gun or 220, and this was the normal uh, 7.5 centimeter. Uh, so, and then you get your uh, photo etch and decals so let's take a peek on the inside look at the size of that monster so as always we'll start off with uh, our instructions uh, so um, as you can see you get your nice picture um, when you get into your running gear. Uh, actually, it looks like we might have to start on, oh, here we go. There we go. So we got a parts layout for everything, color commentary, um, building of the chassis, putting your tracks on again. Tracks are all in plastic, which is nice. No, no uh, vinyl or rubber. Um, again, here's your uh, uh, armor on the outside, your side skirts, basically. Uh, and then here's your um, uh, screening on the inside of the exhausts to defeat uh, grenades. Uh, then some deflectors on the front for on the top. Uh, a little bit more stuff. Looks like you got some... Uh, there's an attachment, it looks like, for the gas uh, containers that were on the back of the fuel tank. And then it looks like it might be a light or something. And then, of course, you can build your fuel tanks there. <coughs> and then we get into the turret mantle with the, like I said, I believe this was 200 millimeter. This was the normal 7.62 or the, um, I think it was a Panzer IV uh, gun, I think, as a coaxial. And then you get into your turret. Finishing off, and then you get your uh, paint, painted schemes. So again, uh, there's looks like there's three schemes here. So this one again was for off the box from 22nd of June 1944. This one is uh, Dorf and Berlin of March 194 uh, March to May of 46. And as you see, it's in a bit of a camel. And then this one is the one at uh, Kummelsdorf early 46. So. Um, as I said, the, the anecdote that I had read at one point in time, there was a story that one of them was on the loose at Kummelsdorf and um, partook in the Battle of Berlin. So 
but let's get into what we get. So here's our turret, which almost looks like the size of a Panzer IV in this scale. So um, it's crazy how big this turret is. It's huge. Uh, and it's all one piece, which is nice, except for the bottom. Uh, again, another nice feature is you have the uh, uh, open doors um, or open hatches. And then uh, the uh, the welding on the sides is actually really nice. You can see the cuts, the weld cuts, which look really nice as well. So, uh, of course, you don't get your uh, back area open, but... Uh, and again, it's, it's the, the texture of this is really smooth. So, but we'll get into the main body of the tank. So it comes as two pieces and they're already put together, which is really nice. There's about the size of your maws. Uh, of course, with the, uh, tracks and everything a little more, but, uh, the top, of course, um, again, some really nice detail in 72nd scale. Um, the uh, surface is really soft. And then again, you get to take a peek underneath. There's your emergency escape hatch in the front. And uh, yeah, so uh, tracks. And again, like I said, with the last kit that uh, I looked at from Vespid, I love that the tracks are plastic like this. There is no flaws. These tracks are amazing. I mean, look at the look at the detail on the tracks. And then if you take a look on the inside, you know that's what. Oh yeah, there's a. There appears to be one or two uh, imperfections, but it's. I mean, it's super not noticeable. <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as uh, some of them. But yeah, you can see on some of them, there's a, it looks like an injector pin. But ultimately, I mean, they look really nice. So they almost look like they're, you know, they're real, real tracks, which is nice. You know, you can almost look like you would hold it and bend it. So, and of course you get two in the package. We get into the guns and the side skirts and the big giant fuel tank so there's your sprue for the guns and the mantle on the bottom of the uh, turret uh, these I'm not too sure what those are um, but here's your uh, here's your gun and again uh, seems to be a, a common theme with regards to Vespid is that they clean out their they give you that cleaned out uh, turret, so or for a turn out, uh, turned out uh, or a cleaned out barrel. So again, like I said, there's your big barrel, there's your Panzer IV barrel, and then there's your mantle for coaxial. Oh, and the I don't know if you can see it or not, but the mantle does have some nice casting. Uh, to itself so it's got a texture casting texture which, which looks really really nice so and uh, the last of the plastic is just uh, two screws of running gear so as you can see there's your uh, main running gear then you get into the bogies which look uh, pretty nice um, there's some looks like these might be you know, I'm not too sure what those are, but uh, I thought it might be extra track, but it looks a little big. So, um, but yeah, there's uh, some more of your um, running gear. There's your uh, drive sprockets. So, nice. That's it for the plastic. Let's get a take a look in the uh, photo watch and the barrels. So, there's your barrels again. Seems to be another thing for Vespid. And of course, those are uh, cleared out at the back, uh, at the fronts as well. So you get uh, two nice uh, uh, metal barrels. And then here is our 
photo etch and uh, decals. Alrighty, so again, uh, like the last time, the photo etch is all covered in the uh, sticky plastic, which is really nice. I like that because it keeps it all together, it doesn't get bent. Uh, and of course, these are all um, uh, the screens for your radiators. And then I'm assuming this is an attachment for the fuel tanks. So, but that's what you get. And then, of course, here's your decals. Uh, with three, four sets of numbers, 100, three, or 323, 314, and 121. And, of course, all different uh, unit badges. So, and then your Balkan Cruise. So, interesting. I can't wait to get into this. I always love the Mazda. It was really kind of a cool tank. So, um, as everybody, I or as maybe most, maybe not everybody, but I think most... Uh, us modelers have a bit of an affinity for uh, the what if stuff for I mean especially when it comes to Germans the paper panzers and the the uh, Luft 46 um, tank or Luft 46 aircraft so uh, I'm looking forward to putting this together and doing a little what if diorama which would be kind of cool so um, again I think this is a really nice product from Vespid um, really nice molding uh, it doesn't appear to be too marred. Uh, like I said, here's your side skirts that I didn't probably didn't give a very good picture to. But uh, again, I mean, there's some nice detail to it. But ultimately, it's just, you know, a very flat and uh, solid piece. Uh, there's a bunch of your hatches. Uh, these look like uh, uh, toe rings. Um, there's that uh, mantle piece in, for in front of the uh, the turret. And then... Uh, fuel tanks so very very nice uh, for 70 second scale um, I'll have to pull out my uh, dragon maws and see what the differences are uh, see what uh, uh, how they match up against each other so but uh, personally I think that this is a very nice kit and like I said the pluses of getting that photo etch as well as the metal barrels is a really nice touch I really like that uh, from Vespa so, uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope it helped you out. Uh, this I got again from uh, Hob uh, from uh, Hobby Japan or Hobby Link Japan. Um, they still have some in stock. So uh, go for it if you're interested in the the uh, Moz or try out any of your other ones. Uh, they've got a couple of other tanks out right now. So uh, other than that, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks and happy modeling.